To create this dovetail joint, you'll need a 3 quarter inch dovetail template set, a 3 quarter inch 14 degree dovetail bit, and a 3 8 inch spiral upcut router bit. Begin by marking center on your stock. as well as the thickness of your material away from the front edge. Next, install the 3 quarter inch 14 degree dovetail bit in your router and the tails template on the multi-router. Move the horizontal table forward until there is roughly one inch of clearance and lock the table in place. Extend the stylus, leaving about 1 32nd of an inch between the end of the stylus and the face of the template. Place the stylus in the center slot of the tails template and lock the horizontal table's left to right travel in place. Slide the forward stop up against the front edge of the horizontal table and lock it in place. Raise the vertical table slightly and align the center mark on your workpiece with the center mark on the vertical table. With everything perfectly aligned, clamp the workpiece down. And then clamp a square piece of stock against the edge of the workpiece to act as your fence. The position of the fence will remain the same for this entire process of cutting both the tails and pins. Lastly, adjust the router's depth of cut until the end of the router bit aligns with your mark. Extend the bit just a hair past your mark. Then snap on your dust cabinet and you're ready to route. Maneuver the horizontal table left and right and the vertical table up and down. Follow the template until all of the tails on your workpiece are cut. Then unclamp your workpiece and rotate it to the other end, making sure to keep the same face pointing up. Repeat the process following the template until all of your tails are cut on both boards. Before we move on to cutting the pins, we're gonna cut the tails on a scrap piece that is roughly five inches in length and matches the width and thickness of our current material. We'll use this scrap piece to help dial in the perfect fit for our pins. With the tails all cut, we can switch to the pin template on the multi-router. and change the router bit to a 3 8 inch spiral upcut bit. Before we can start cutting, return the horizontal table to its previous position, then set the router depth of cut to once again match the mark on your material. Follow the stylus along the template, clearing out material to create the pins. After the pins are cut, slide the horizontal table back, leaving your material clamped in place, and use your 5 inch long tailboard to test the fit. If the fit is too tight, rotate the brass knob to the right to raise the position of the stylus pin. Then return the horizontal table back to its starting position and make another pass. Repeat this process until you sneak up on the perfect fit. If the fit is too loose, rotate the brass knob to the left to lower the position of the stylus pin. Cut the oversized pins off of your test workpiece and return it to its position for another test cut. Continue fine tuning the position of the stylus pin until you achieve a tight fitting dovetail. After quickly dialing in your machine, you're all set to cut the mating pins on your actual workpiece. Once one side is cut, rotate the workpiece and cut the other side with the same face pointing up.
Then make your cuts on your second pin board and you're all finished. In just a few minutes, you have a dovetail box that comes together perfectly. Once you get familiar with your multi-router, you can easily create dovetail joints for any project in no time. In addition to the 3 quarter inch dovetail template set, we also have a half inch dovetail set for a different looking pin and tail configuration. The multi-router is an extremely versatile tool that allows you to create complex joinery quickly and accurately. If you're interested in learning more about the capabilities of the multi-router, then we have a playlist right here for you to check out.